what is up we are over here near the uh, Union Hills and the I-17 because there's a building I've been driving by looks like there's a whole bunch of VRF on top and let's see if that is or not and then there's some cool crazy units on the side and actually it's not the building that's in view right now which now that I'm just hovering over where I'm parked <laughs> seems to have all sorts of craziness it almost looks like there's a bunch of portable ACs or something maybe there unless those are actually all piped in what is this place huh. mm -hmm. so it's not what I came to check out <laughs> but it's got my attention Came to look at the building behind it so there is a lot of cooling here this could be a data center or something like a really crazy one that'd be a lot of cooling for a data center though i mean this is to the degree of highly industrial <laughs> look at those units yeah we'll definitely have to upload this one in 4k that is a glorious sight <laughs> A lot of cooling. Water storage tank. Huh. Yeah. Hopefully it's not a bunch of top secret stuff. And look at this array of cooling. I mean, this is massive. I mean, this is a massive percentage of cooling for the size of the building. There's got to be some crazy production going on inside that place didn't need this much heat rejection look at the array of fans wow and the cooling towers i'm sorry the water storage tanks and whatnot wow this is just right in the city here this is i'm not in a weird spot i'm just right i'm in a neighborhood uh, those might be cooling towers there just with a lot of smaller fans rather than what you're used to taking a gander at this place before I go on to the place I intended to check out. <laughs> this is pretty crazy. modulars over there that is something and then there's I'm not gonna go over there <laughs> for some reason I choose not to but all around this building and down the middle of it is a massive massive amounts of heat rejection I mean I can't think of any other building that I've ever seen that has this much, you know, um, equipment hooked up for heat rejection per the square footage of the size. And this is a single story building. Just look at this. All of that, that is the whole property, except for a little bit of parking, is all heat rejection stuff. So, huh, I might go around and take a look at the back side of that, but I wanna see what I came here for. That's this building because I could see this from the roof. This building here, I could see the rooftop from the I-17 right behind it. And when I saw all these fan arrays, I really just thought it was probably some VRF stuff. But now, now it just looks like it's just a bunch of like remote coils or something. More industrial grade cooling. That's for dang sure. Look at all the pumps and everything. Tubes and pipes. And there's some regular units right there, it looks like. Oh, it doesn't look it's green. I don't think that's Aeon unless they've been painted. Something like that. This building's under construction, I think. Um, these must be cool. Some Are these water coolers? Because look, they have a bladder at each one. Oh, yeah. 
you'll be able to read it, the names of these later on the big screen or if I zoomed in on one post edit so uh, these I could see you know what this must be an expansion from whatever's next door because these white buildings look like the buildings next door what is this somebody will probably tell me in the comments there's always somebody that knows what something is it's crazy see what that is are those conveyors or what is all that that I don't know, unless those are just to la land wires on you know wire raceways uh, when you're sitting in a vehicle with the bright Sun outside it's kind of hard for your eyes to see the amount of detail that I'm gonna see later you know and I'm doing post edit but, uh, that is really something Look at all those storage tank bladders. You know, yeah, what's the other word we like? The expansion tanks. This is what we've been seeing from the freeway, and I'd be like, what is that? But I could just see through the side railings when I'm on the freeway so I thought it was maybe just rows of some VRFs Mitsubishi, LG, Daikin, Carrier, Toshiba, whatever but no they're just big I think remotes and well no I was gonna say they're remotes but they they have expansion tanks so it's got to be cooling the fluid like water or something you know and then uh, you can see the shapes of those buildings on the right and then if you see the shape of those ones over here they're similar they're the same thing I think these are just sitting there maybe not hooked up yet so maybe that building is an expansion to whatever this building is huh Of water storage that's for sure there's a tank oh, it's critical <laughs> we got a water tank here and another water tank in the next little section Interesting. Is it, I mean, this is hooked up also. I thought maybe it was just equipment sitting there. And see this. Interesting. Yeah. facility here what kind of building is that anyway I don't know But it's, it's more industrial level cooling equipment, heat rejection. Then there, it's like 
so much of it for just the size of this facility. It's just crazy. Anyway. Well, that's going to do that. It says I'm getting a little bit of wind, so we'll cut this for the end. It's windy? Yeah, it said it was, so. I do not want to have any issues when I'm over there, so stay really safe on this one. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. With that, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, yeah, and definitely comment. comment on this one. Catch you all later.